Hey guys, Dr. Berg here. Listen, we're going to talk about egg yolks versus egg whites today, okay? Uh, the first thing I want to talk about uh, is a misconception that the egg white is healthier than the egg yolk. Take a look at this nutritional profile. Protein. Did you realize that the egg yolk has, I mean, almost as much protein as the white? It has 2.7 grams versus 3.6 grams. I mean, that's amazing. You would think it's just all fat and cholesterol. No, it's protein. Calcium, 20, 20 times, I'm sorry, 10 times more calcium than the egg whites. It's 21.9 milligrams versus 2.3 milligrams for the whites. Look how much phosphorus, 66.3 versus 5 milligrams. Potassium, well, look at the whites are a little more potassium. Uh, zinc, it has more zinc. It has more selenium, uh, more B1, more folate, that's a B vitamin. It has a heck of a lot more B12. And basically it has all the fat soluble vitamins, vitamin A, E, D, and K1 and K2. Okay, so those are, um, those are things that people need. And also DHA, with it, which is a healthy fat that your brain needs, uh, which will improve memory and things like that. So. Hands down, um, you know, shoot the egg white away and just consume the yolk. No, I'm just kidding. Egg yolk is way more nutritious than egg whites, okay? It also has tons of what's called phospholipids. Those are basically things that are surrounding the cellular membranes that actually your brain needs to function. So it's really good for cell and brain health. Um, vitamin K2, I mentioned that before. What is vitamin K2? Well. Um, the chicken eats the grass, hopefully, uh, or even the cow eats the grass if you're talking about milk. And what happens is we convert K1 to K2. Vitamin K2 is very different than vitamin K1. Vitamin K1 has to do with clotting factors. Vitamin K2 is a vitamin that will remove calcium from the wrong place. It will extract calcification from the arteries. It takes out calcium from the joints. So it decalcifies the arteries. So it's great for low, uh, lowering blood pressure. It's great for making the arteries elastic. And also it makes your bones really, really uh, strong and hard. So we need vitamin K2. Vitamin K2 is a fat soluble vitamin and it's in goose liver, it's in butter, it's in fattier things that are grass fed. Uh, it's also, uh, you can get it in NATO if you, it's like a fermented soybean, um, but it's pretty nasty tasting and you can get it in a supplement. But vitamin K2 is actually in egg yolks if it's grass-fed. Now let's talk about choline. What is choline? It's a B vitamin that helps pull fat out of the liver. It's a lipotrophic B vitamin that will help your liver and also help the brain. And it's a precursor to what's called neurotransmitters, which are like hormone-like things within the nervous system. But the egg is loaded with choline. And let's talk about biotin. Biotin is intimately involved with proteins, especially your hair and nails. So if you consume like egg whites raw, for example, there's a protein in there that will block the absorption of biotin and create a biotin deficiency. And you may lose your hair if you consume a lot of raw egg whites. So we want to cook the egg whites and keep the egg yolks fairly raw, okay? Um, but yeah, biotin is very, very important here. Um, also, there's a concern about cholesterol. People think that it's gonna worsen their uh, cholesterol, it's not. Not to mention that there's the choline and also lecithin in eggs, which actually are the antidote to cholesterol. Here's the facts. Your body makes a lot of cholesterol, 3,000 milligrams of cholesterol every single day. That's equivalent to 14 eggs, uh, 333 strips of bacon, or a pound of butter. That's how much cholesterol that our body makes. So. If you're concerned about getting high cholesterol with eggs, you don't have to be concerned. The only thing that will increase when you consume eggs is the good cholesterol. If you consume more cholesterol, your body will just make more, okay? Uh, unless there's a genetic defect that you have, which is very rare, by the way, and if that's the case, then maybe you consume something like um, a red, uh, red yeast rice, okay, as an extract that will help you lower cholesterol if you need some natural form. Now, the other point I wanna make about eggs is that um, when you buy eggs, it says free range, natural, uh, like chickens that are roaming. All that is just like, it doesn't mean anything. You wanna get pasture 
raised, okay? Not pasteurized, pasture raised. That means that these chickens actually go into the pasture and the grass and they consume the grass and the bugs and things like that. And we want organic, both of those, okay? It has to be pasture raised and organic. Why? Because the feed that they uh, feed chickens mainly is um, soy and corn. And I mean, it'd be nice if they just consume grass, but the problem, if they use corn and soy, at least make sure that's organic because if not, it's GMO and you're consuming pesticides and you're consuming a lot of other issues. So unfortunately, um, almost all the feed for chickens um, and other animals are corn and soy. But if it's organic, it's, uh, at least it's not GMO, okay? So go ahead and start consuming eggs. There's not a problem. I consume uh, four eggs every single morning. And uh, I'm still alive, so it, it, I'm sure it's going to be fine for you too. Thanks for watching.